tell me you don't believe anything that Gwen just said. You have to tell me that. She made a lot of sense, didn't she? Ethan, she just called me crazy. She's clearly the one who's insane. Okay, standing here and, and, and telling you that, that, that I've been stringing you along, that I rejected you just for a laugh, that I married Jared just to torture you. Seeing you marry another man, that did torture me. That did. I know, but... Ethan, you... <laughs> I, I would, I would, I would cut off my arm before I, I would deliberately hurt you that way. I mean, come on, she is nuts. Is she? Yes, she is. Nothing she said is true. You married Jared. You're still married to Jared. That was true. Y yeah. I mean, she was right about that, right? I mean, if we were meant to be together, if you've loved me all along, why are you married to Jared? We're finally free to be together, and you married another man. Can you tell me why? He asked a very good question, Teresa. And it doesn't matter what you answer. He won't be satisfied. Soon, Ethan will be mine. What the hell does this thing have on you that it would want to force you to marry another man you don't even love? I don't get it. I, just, I don't have a choice. <laughs> I, you know, I thought... I really thought you loved me. I do I, love you, Ethan. Well, I do. Oh my God! Damn, Gwen, for doing this, for 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 making you doubt my love for you. You you see you see what she's doing? She's trying to come between us. I don't know why she would want to do that because she's made it clear she wants to go through with the divorce. Well, Teresa. thank God for that. But come on, Ethan. She hates me, I and mean, she's always hated me because you've always been in love with me. I mean, you you do still love me, right? I love you. Of course I love you, but so does so does Jared. I know, but Ethan, you're the you're the man of my heart. I mean you are the man that I I wanna spend the rest of my life with. And it kills me, you know, being with Jared. Then leave him. Leave him and come back to me. I can't do that, you know? I mean Luis, he is sitting I, on death row. I know, I know, and I'm doing everything I can to delay his execution, Teresa, but until we catch this. No, damn we're gonna, we're gonna catch Miller, him. We are don't... gonna catch him, okay? And when, when we do, we're gonna we're gonna get him to admit to all these crimes, and Luis is gonna go free. And then you're gonna leave Jared and come to me, right? Yes. Ethan. God, I love you. I love you more than my own life. I mean, I could never love anyone the way I love you. So, you love him more than your own life, Teresa. Well, that's good news. Because your life is exactly what your love is going to cost you. I love you, Ethan. I want you to look into my eyes and know it's in my heart. I love you with all of me. I know you do. I feel the same way. <laughs> I love you so much. you get in here? Is that any way to greet a guest? You are not a guest. How did you get past the guards? They are posted all over the estate. You should know by now. I can get into any place I want. I can appear or disappear at will. What do you want from me? What do you want? You're not going to kill me, are you? Kill you? Yes. Like you killed poor Dr. Smith. 
Dr. Smith, Dr. Smith. Oh yes, I remember the fool. He got in my way. He did the blood work on you at the hospital. He could have given us proof that you were the one I captured at St. Margaret Mary's after you confessed to all the crimes. Exactly. So the good doctor had to die. And now you're gonna kill me. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna kill you. At least I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm here to help you, Sheridan. Help me? How? The man you love is about to be executed, and I can save him. Yes, I know. You're the reason he's going to be executed. The point is, do you want to save him or not? Of course I do, but I can't imagine that you would sacrifice yourself for my happiness. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I didn't think so. So what's the catch? I had to make certain that you really wanted Luis saved. Because once he's free, you know as well as I do that he won't go back with you. He'll be with Fancy. Isn't that true? I suppose. But he belongs with me. And sooner or later, I will make him realize that being with Fancy is a big mistake. Maybe he will, or maybe he won't. But what if I helped your situation along? What do you mean? What if I eliminated Fancy from the picture? What if I could make sure that Luis goes back to you? You can do that? Absolutely. You know I can do it, don't you? You know I can get Fancy out of Luis's life and make him yours. Yes. I believe you. But now I don't want Fancy hurt. I, I don't want her killed. <laughs> oh, that won't be necessary. Then how? How can you get rid of Fancy? I'm surprised I have to tell you. You're the one who brought it up at Luis's trial. The one way to get Luis out of Fancy's life. Pretty. That's right. Fancy's sister. Pretty. <laughs>